In order to do a root search in Logos 5, we need to use a reverse interlinear. I've got all my shortcuts here, but we can also use the command box and type ESB, for example, so that Logos understands we want to open the English Standard Version. Yes, we click on it and open the Bible. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, as an example, the very same uh, chapter and verse that I used when I talked about uh, searching for all forms of a Greek word and that is James chapter 2 verse 4 we are particularly interested in the word judges right here we can display the interlinear if we want to but it's not necessary so let's hide it again and right click on the word judges in the uh, context menu that opens we need to make sure that rather than lemma or any of the other options uh, right here root is selected as we can see Crino is the Greek root underlying the um, text and um, has been translated here in James 2 4 as judges once we've selected root then we can search this resource now uh, make sure that uh, you limit your search to the book of James. If you don't have a, a range with uh, that book, we can go down here and just type James and that'll create the range for us. So we search all Bible text in James in the English Standard Version for the root Crino. We get uh, 20 results in 11 verses which is correct. Uh, notice that although all results are displayed in English because we started our search from an English text. In fact, Logos has been running the search against the underlying Greek text. Let's add a Greek Bible here for comparison purposes, like NA27. Click here and see side by side the results in both English and Greek. But better still, let's change to the analysis view so that we can have in column format uh, lots of information about the search we've just run and here the advantage is that we can not only see a lot of information but also um, use the different columns to sort out our results for example we may want to drag our reference column here and have the results displayed according to the uh, canonical order if we click here like so, or instead um, sort by Greek lemma and see that we have a uh, crino that appears six times, crisis four times, and also lots of information like the root, which is always going to be crino in this case, and the part of speech, whether it's a verb, noun, uh, adjective, etc and uh, so on. Well the fact is that uh, Logos 5 uh, allows us to uh, search for roots in a very easy and quite intuitive way.